Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Carla. This is Rolodex Stitches, and this is my little corner of the cross stitch world. Um, today is one of my favorite days. Today is Whip Parade Day. Yay! <laughs> um, I love watching whip parades in general. I think that is not a not an unknown thing in this uh, in this arena. Everyone, almost everyone, loves watching them. Um, I love just seeing everyone's pieces like the progress that they've worked on throughout the year and then also like you know being enabled is a big part of it I sit normally I watch it on I make sure I watch the whip parades on my tv so that I can sit with my phone and like add things to my list or you know run right over to whatever website and buy it right then because that's my jam that's how I work and if you don't work that way that's a pro tip for y'all um it is, today is January 6th, 2021, which is insane. So happy new year to everyone. Hope everyone had a great holiday. Um, hope it was chill. Hope you didn't go out a whole lot. Hope everyone enjoyed themselves. Um, this is not a normal floss tube. Like I'm not going to be, you know, doing all my daily stuff. It's just gonna be going through the whip parade and then an announcement at the end. So be ready for that. Uh, I'm not, I've decided just for my own, <laughs> uh, peace of mind and my own way my mind works, I'm not going to do this in any real order. I, ha if you could see the huge stack of crap that I have over here, um, you would know. I think I'm just going to be grabbing things and working my way through. Um, I don't think anyone really cares what date I started these, uh, but... I will tell you my really old whips, which I mean, I can't have really, really old whips because I've only been stitching since, what, maybe 2017? So it'll be all right. But uh, yeah, let's get started. And also I didn't like pull them out of the bags or anything. So just be prepared. <laughs> be prepared for uh, some zipping and some unzipping and hopefully I'll be able to just keep talking to you guys while I do that. Um. This first one, I'm not going to show all the bags, but I'm going to show the bags that I love. You can't really see the awesomeness unless I take this out, which I could. This is a Dot Dot Goose bag. This is, oh, sorry, what's up there? Uh, look how adorable that is. It's uh, my, uh, my big gal witches. My son saw these and he was like, are those titties? <laughs> <laughs> which I had never heard him say the word titties before. And I was like, ah, oh, that makes me really uncomfortable. Don't ever say that word again. He was like, okay, boobies. Are they boobies? <laughs> I was like, um, yeah, no, they're not. They're knees, you weirdo. That's a knee. She has like her knees pulled up. Look, why no one else, I mean, this one has titties, but no one else is showing their titties. What's going on with you? And he's like, I didn't know. <laughs> like, you're so sweet and innocent, but calm down they're definitely legs they're just her knees anyways this is the back but that's the inside fabric and i love it it's my it's my big gal witch bag which holds which ha, 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 my not great of a start but a start nonetheless of um a moonshine by silver creek samplers i'm gonna hold up this really crappy black and white photo so you can see it uh I love it. I don't love her face. It's not a great face in there. Love the moon. Don't like her face. But I have I have some ideas of what I can do with that. So this is where I'm at with this. So this is her leg, I believe. I'm gonna hold it like this and see if I can keep yeah. Might be an arm, but I'm pretty sure this is the bottom of her dress. And this is a leg. I haven't touched this one since I started it, and I believe March May, March Madness. But I love it, so it's not like it's going anywhere. Um, and once I get more into the dress and everything, get started on that big ass moon, I think it will spur my love again for it. Um, hopefully, I won't be taking all of them out, taking stuff out of the bags the way I just did. So this should speed up as we move on but I made a working copy of the pattern I need you to see my <laughs> my witch's tits even though they're not tits um oh fuck it god bless America we're just gonna put that over there I said I was gonna keep it all organized and put everything together 
and I just don't know if that's gonna happen. So let's continue and see how this goes. Ooh, next bag. It's just an Amazon bag. Not an Amazon, this is a Daiso bag that I get from Japan, that I got from Japan. A lot of people get theirs from Amazon though, so that's what I'm used to calling it. This is Words to Live By. I'll pop up a picture here. Um, by Tiny Modernist, it is an definitely almost positively sure this is my oldest whip. So this is going to be my, let me see if I can finagle this a little bit here. Um, this is going to be one of my focuses for this year. Sorry, I wanted to get it on this board so you can see. Yeah, I have a fair bit done. Like the thing is all completely done. The border, the grid, whatever is completely done, but this is not. So. I want to get it done because I love it. I put a lot of work into this and I really want to get it done. So this is going to be a focus for 2021 words to live by. You've heard it here, ladies and gentlemen, that I have made this declaration. Um, it is still has a lot of work to be done, but we will get through. Like I said, I said tiny modernist, right? This was actually one of, in my only, uh, attempts at, at fabric dyeing. So my sister helped me do it. Um, and by help, I mean she mostly did it because I tend to get um, frozen by anxiety in the midst of a project like that, that I don't know exactly what is going on. Oh yeah, it's just I'm just gonna start tossing stuff. I can feel that. Um, that is, what is this? Oh, this isn't even a whip. This is Cinnamon Stars. I haven't even started this yet. I have it completely kitted up. What the hell's wrong with me? Why haven't I started this, guys? If I should start this and you want to sell it with me, drop a comment below because I need to start this because I love it. So we're not counting that in whips because I haven't even put anything in it. Um, let's see what else. Okay, here's a good one. Also, um, a little bit of an older piece. It's from beginning of summer. This is Rose Apothecary. I have uh, buy paper crane stitches. Boop. Um, look how much I have done. I, she's doing, uh, she's coming along very beautifully. And I never even take her out of this uh, Q-snap because literally this is all that it is. And I don't wanna have to fight it. And I already cut the fabric. P.S. Look at that back. This is the neatest I've ever had a back. Mind you, there's three colors, but still, well, there's definitely more than three colors because all those bricks. But look at that. Bitch, who am I? Um, I know why I have put this away, why I haven't touched it in a while. It's because I am very intimidated by all of the big ass French knots that are supposed to be for the flowers and definitely uh, and vegetables down in the front there. Um, they're beautiful. And the way that Catherine from Paper Crane Stitches did them, they look uh, on point. And I know I'm not going to be able to do that, like make them look that good. So I am intimidated and... Again, frozen from anxiety, which is a theme of my life. <laughs> but I love that one. Again, uh, I don't want to start off saying, if I just put a few days more work into it, I could get it done. Um, because we all know that that's what we say over and over and over again, right? That is our mantra. If I just sat down and worked on this, it'd be done in a quickie. Well, bitch, why don't we do that? <laughs> Uh, all right, and here's another fan favorite that I love a whole lot, too. This is my Millennium Falcon. I'll toss up a picture here. Um, I don't remember who this is from, but I am selling it with my girl, Lolly. And I don't believe she's done yet, either. I know she is farther along than I am. But that's how much I have done. And it looks amazing. Look, so this is the beginning of a planet that's over here. Like this here is the outer edge, like that goes all the way around. So I don't need to fill all this up. But that planet I believe is mostly done. And there's another one over here somewhere. But ugh, my Falcon needs to get some work. I love her, I love her. Right, baby? Right. Um. She is awesome and she is beautiful. And she lives in 
this great <laughs> Star Wars bag, vintage fabric that I got from uh, Bindi, Michelle Bindi. Um, it's fantastic and beautiful and I love it. I'm almost 90% positive that I had bed sheets just like that as a child because that's what we do. Um, okay, here's one that you have seen more recently. This one is my uh, Christmas in Pink. It'll look like this when finished. It is by Cure Batacore, and she is a big old bap. She's a big, she's a biggin'. I'm gonna need my board. I'm sorry if you can see me like, you know, doing shit down here and that's distracting, but oh my God, she doesn't even fit on the board. Look at her, ugh. But I do have a lot done. I really just have all that center to do. Um, I mean, I still have a lot to do. But this is where she's at here. So Christmas in pink, absolutely beautiful. I did work on her a little bit this past December um, for right before the Christmas holiday. And she was fun as usual. But she's just, She's just a really big gal, and ugh, I picked, uh, not Krynik, but I have some Rainbow Gallery, uh, some of their metallic, and some of, ooh, I shouldn't have fold, I shouldn't have rolled that. I need to fold it, because otherwise it won't fit in my, in my floss buddy. <laughs> my bags, my bags plus floss buddy. Look at these. Ugh, look at those pink sparkly unicorns pulling a pink sparkly Santa sleigh. Could you call for a more perfect bag to go with this piece? No, ma'am, you could not. Um, as soon as I saw that um, that Karina had put that up on her, I believe I saw it on her Instagram. <laughs> like I immediately was like, oh, I need that. I was in Japan and I was like, I will wait as long as you need me to wait to get that in my greedy little hands. So there was that one. Um, I don't remember when I started that one. I know I was in Japan when I started it because it is on 14 count, 14 count gray Ada from, um, that awesome place that, um, the fabric place in Japan. Uh, I don't remember what it was called, but not Shimoda. Could be Shimoda, but I doubt it. Shimoda was the mall that we were near. All right, this next one also has a very pitiful start, but beautiful. Again, she is a Kyore Batakore piece. This is Halloween in the Rain. This pattern was started my obsessive love with Kyore Batakore. Um, I love it. It's beautiful. Um, and then I found the perfect fabric. This is Evil Queen by Bastitch Me. Look at this purple. Like, that's pretty spot on of what it is. This is the beginning of a ghost, not any uh, shitty KKK that looks like, hey, we got rid of KKK Barbie today. Ah, yay, Georgia. Um, sorry. But yeah, this is going to be an umbrella, a really cute umbrella, and then the beginning of a cute little ghosty and other stuff. You saw it. Um, love this pattern. Love this piece. So again, something I will be working towards. <laughs> this uh this this year but not high up on the list like definitely not getting a finish anytime soon but it is there when I feel a need to work on some spoopy stuff Boop. um I'm gonna throw this whole bin over here sorry Boop. take that all right I just grab randomness out of the pile. Hey, this is also not a whip. This is a, I need to start this one too. This is, mm, what is exactly it's called? I won it in an amazing giveaway from Mel. Uh, the name is like right here on it. <sighs> it's this one. Look how beautiful that is. And she's a big bitch. So I'm uh, taking my time with starting it apparently because you know things will get done even if you don't start them what am i thinking anyways it's absolutely gorgeous and i ordered a huge whack of gold rush 
from Bestitch Me so that I won't have to do all of this because fuck that. But yeah. But yeah it's, it's a whole kit. So it actually has fabric in there, but I wanted something different because I did not want to have to do that. No thank you, sir. Has all the, all the floss. So I guess next time that I'm feeling like, ooh, I need a start, be like, Carla, don't buy anything. Go start at least one of the two, go start one of the two whips you have fully kitted, you dumb hoe. And I'm actually fully okay with you calling me that because, you know, I just said it. All right, next up is also in a Bags Plus Floss Buddy. This is... <laughs> <laughs> this is my blue Marauders map, which goes really well with my Ravenclaw book. <laughs> I don't even need to fully open up this fabric. I call it Ravenclaw book, but I'll put it here. Um, I don't remember the name of the pattern nor the, the designer, which is crappy of me, but I'll, I'll put it down below because... It's, be it's beautiful. But this is how much I have done. This was also a March Madness um, start for me. Remember when I went crazy and had 20 starts in March of last year? Yeah. This is like the beginning of like her scarf. But look at that. Look how pretty that is. Confetti hell, but super, super pretty. So, and thankfully it also works in Pattern Keeper. So it is a lot easier to, um, to work on. But she lives in here. Excuse me, I belched. My bad. But love that one. Again, March 2020. Um, what's this? I love opening these up like, like it's a brand new thing. I'm all excited. Ooh, I know what this one is. Again, a little bit of a newer piece. She's very wrinkly. Because we saw in my last floss tube episode that <laughs> I'm a heathen and I don't iron even my mom again she was like so do you want me to iron anything for you <laughs> before you start this and I said no no I do not she's like okay well just trying to help and I'm like I know I know mother and I appreciate you but fuck no this is autumn witch autumn witch now that I'm saying that it's not sounding right crap it's autumn lane citry this one, gorgeous. We all fell in love with it as soon as we saw her. We were like, holy bananas, give me that right now. And I knew I had this perfect piece of fabric. This is something by Bestitch Me. I believe it was a one-off, maybe not. I will have it down below with any questions. Look at that. This is obviously the big arch above her. Mm. I'm trying to think of something more gorgeous and I cannot right now. In five minutes, I'll think of something, but <laughs> chef's kiss, gorgeous to the gorgeous. That's not a thing, but hey. Um, so do you see this little bag that I have here? It's uh, there for decoration, but also there for another reason. Stick around to the end to find out. Boom, boom, boom. Or dun, dun, dun. However, we, how ominous we want to be. Let's pull out a big, a uh, big in. I know, like I have small pieces. I don't have small pieces, but this is definitely a big gal. This is long dog, hmm, long dog samplers, froth and bubble. This is, as you most of you know and remember, is the piece for my grandmother. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, and this is where I'm at. I, like I said, I'm not like holding myself to the fact that I'm going to stitch all the black first. That's not it, but I just wanted to do that with this for some reason. So I completely stitched all that outline. Then I started on the next. I was just in a, a black work phase. What the fuck is that? Oh, Whew. I thought it was something on the fabric, but hopefully it's not. Otherwise I'll die, but no, it's good. Look at that, look at that. Ugh. So in case you can't tell, life is mostly froth and bubble. Two things stick. Wait. Life is mostly froth and bubble. Two things stand like stone. Kindness in another struggle and courage in your own. If I remember correctly. I haven't looked at that quote in a hot minute, but yeah. 
absolutely gorgeous. And that is my other, this is my other focus piece for this year. I want to get, I would love to get it done. God, I would love to get this done. But that's two really big pieces this year that I would be pounding out. So maybe let's get it to 50%. Let's give myself a little bit of grace and call it 50% done by the end of 2021. Again, you hear it here. You heard it here, folks. I'm going to write that down, by the way. 50% done. And then I put a smiley face so that I know it's a good, it's a good thing. Ah, all right. Let's see what else. Ooh, this is a good one. This is from my girl Lolly. This, I don't believe this pattern is still available, but if I have a photo of it, I'll toss it up here. Um, it is when for, she, we were raising money for the um, Parkinson's Foundation, Michael J. Fox Foundation. Um, don't tell my mom, but I probably should have let her iron some of these. <laughs> but I am a stubborn asshole, and I was not. I remember why I don't have this done now. <laughs> I remember why it's because I ran out of this floss and I was in Japan and I couldn't find it um, like anywhere and I didn't want to wait to bring it here to to order it so this is it I really only have this like yeah I have like these words left <laughs> a little bit of these and like some here and then this part here and then it would be done <laughs> look at this fabric this is hand dyed by Rolanda um, I think this is an even, yeah, this is an even weave. It's about like 28 count. Um, look at that though. God, look at that. It's like, it's like a watercolor. Like, she, Jesus, this is absolutely beautiful. And if you could actually focus on it instead of all my wrinkles, then you would see how beautiful it was too. But look at that, y'all. Mm. Again, perfection and I love it. And since now I am in the States again, I can look up whatever floss this was. It's a, it was an etoile, and it wasn't like 550. Or shit, was it 550? Anyways, it was something really like newish that had come out, and I needed it very badly. Don't look at the back. I'm gonna roll it this way to try to, I guess, give it more wrinkles. I don't know, <laughs> but to not let those wrinkles set in. Why? I think there's a reason why we do this but I just can't remember it right now. But anyways, it's rolled up the other way now and hopefully she won't be so mad at me. But yeah, I gotta get the flux capacitors, schmooshers, rays done, and then like four words and she'll be done. <laughs> That's an atrocity. I cannot believe I haven't, uh, I can't believe I haven't finished that yet. Oh yeah. Okay, here is a smaller piece. Remember how I said I didn't think I had any small ones? This is Hildy's Yule by Bendy Stitchy Designs. Beautiful. This is also a March Madness piece that I started. And we have the start of her, um, the one vampire. Remember there are, there's normally three bats. Now there's only two. And the one bat turned into this guy. This is the beginning of her dress. Um, Steve, what's his name? <laughs> it was like a, Two baddie names and then this one that turns into an actual person. Vampire. But yeah, super cute. This is also a hand dyed by Rolanda piece, I think. Maybe. I have it written down. But I can't remember. Um, love that. Love that, love that, and I need to finish that up. Immediately. All right, we're trucking right along. Burp, burp, burp. Okay. okay, and then this was a nut. So that was a mark. Like I said, that was a March Madness piece. This is another March Madness piece. Um, this is. I'll toss it up. This is Acceptance by Bindi Stitchy. And again, oh my God, look how close I am. What the frick, Carla? <laughs> I have to move my thing, hold on. Hold please. God, I just left this right in the middle of the damn project. Uh, 
Don't you hate it when you do that? Like, I obviously meant to come back to this. I had good intentions, and I almost pulled a Scott in stitches again and almost showed you that upside down. Look at that. Mmm. We'll love it. So yeah, <laughs> pretty much exactly halfway done, I think. Um, hell, over halfway. Definitely over halfway. Beautiful. Love this piece. And again, I think there was a reason why I put it down. I think I was running out of one floss and I was getting really close to moving. So I just didn't want to uh, make another trip out in Japan <laughs> to, um, to find that floss. And I was like, oh, it'll be cheaper in America anyways. And it is. Um, but yeah. And again, what we say every time is, oh, if I just worked on that, if I just buckled down and focused, like, how much money would we have if we said, if we, like, paid ourselves every time we said that? I would have at least a dollar fifty just today. So, now that I think about it, when I said words to live by was my oldest piece, this might be my oldest piece. Um, this is... Um, ingredients for a horrific Halloween. This was by Stony Creek. Um, I'll put the full one right here. Again, could have used with an ironing. Don't tell my mom. <laughs> She's loving being here, by the way. Like, she loves it. She loves, like, being able to, like, mess with the kids. Well, she doesn't mess with the kids as much as Dan and I do, but she, uh, she loves being able to, like, make them breakfast on Saturday mornings and everything, and it's just her and Rowan made a cake from scratch last night. Like what? <laughs> Normally that's Rowan and Dan's thing. They, they they bake all the time. But I didn't even know my mom could make a cake from scratch. I was like, why didn't you do that when I was little? Just kidding. Anyways, here's my ingredients for a horrific Halloween by Stony Creek. Look how much I have done. <laughs> Look, and I just haven't because these are really big pieces. <laughs> these are really big pieces. Quirky butt. Um, like, because they, they, you know, anyone who's seen the Stony Creek knows that they come out like, it was like an each month type thing. So one, two, three, four, I believe it was six. So five, so I just have two more and this one would be done. This was another of that same days of fabric dyeing. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. Again, send all uh, oohs and ahs and ooh, I love them over to my sister because this was definitely probably mostly her. Ugh. I still have to add like the little like beads that go here or whatever, but mm, I love this piece. Again, if I just focused. How about I put this on the focus board for a, just another box finish. What do you think about that? Like finishing this next box or at least just fucking starting it, right? Goodness, goodness. Let's roll this up because, again, all these wrinkles. Um, so how's everyone's day been so far? Like I said, it's Tuesday for me, but I probably won't get this uploaded till like Wednesday morning because I'm a sloth. But yeah, boom. All right, name something in my booty. What else do I got here? I have a lot of Halloween pieces. In case anyone wondered, Halloween's my favorite. And Halloween stitching is my favorite. This one is another Autumn Lame Stitchery piece. Does that bring me up to three? Total, maybe two or three? I don't remember, but it's this one. Wicked Witchcraft, I believe is, I believe is the name. And this one is trucking along. She is gorgeous. <gasps> Look at that. Mm. Look at that, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. I love everything about it. Um, I just obviously all of this needs to be done. But yeah, I got a lot of this done traveling um, during the move and everything. Because I, because as you can see down here, I did like the half stitches so that I can just go through and Stitch them up. Just finish the crossings 
the, that other leg. So I need to do that on her, on this right here, and then her bottom half still needs it as well. But super beautiful. And again, needs to be worked on. <laughs> um, this is also, I think, a part of the show where we all talk about how like our plans for, God, the needle's still on there. Jesus wept. Um, we talk about our plans for 2020. Um, I don't have any set in stone plans, I don't believe. Um, I have a few starts that are already scheduled, I think, because I'm um, going to do that creative, the Caterpillar Cross Stitch one, uh, the one that starts at the end of January, uh, the, the creative sow. Um, that one looks really cool. I'm just waiting on it to get to me. Um, I want a, a what's going to call it? I want a giveaway from my girl Lolly. Um, I have that. What other, do I, what else do I have planned? Nothing in for real. And also I'm sure as shit not doing a whole nother 20 of new starts for, um, March Madness. But I was thinking about doing it this way. And this is not my idea, so I can't, I'm not going to take credit for it, but it's something like, um, you cut, you look at all what you started last year during March Madness or Mania, whichever you did. And then you see if you have any finishes from those. So say I, so I started 20 new things in March Madness. I know I finished a few, several. Um, so for those that, for those like openings that I have, like say I start, I say I finished five. I could do five new starts during March Madness, but the other days during March Madness, I only work on my March Madness pieces. That is very um, appealing to me because I very much want to get done with a lot of these pieces. Um, and I don't even know if I'll do the new starts. Like I know I have several. So let's, I did do some mathing the other day in preparation for this. So during, and this, um, after watching Aaron to Martini, like I, I, you know, no one should feel any shame about their craft, about their hobbies. People do what brings you joy, stitch what you want to stitch. If you want 700 new starts in the year of 2021, more power to you. I ain't your mama. I ain't your person who's financing you. Hopefully you guys know that, uh, that saying. If you're not me, if you're not financing me and you're not feeding me, you have zero, you know, reason to talk about what I do in my life. So, um, in that vein, you do you, boo-boo. Moving on. I had, in the year of 2020, I had 21 finishes which is really good for me. I, I've never totaled them up before in like the three years I've been cross-stitching, but I'm gonna call that a damn big win. Um, I did have 44 new starts. <laughs> so, yeah. And I didn't add up all these whips either, so like we could go through at the end and count them up, or whoever's counting now uh, could let me know. Um, but yeah, so that's, I got to figure out exactly how I want to do March Madness. It's a long roundabout way of saying that. But I, um, I definitely want to focus on the pieces that I do have. Because you saw those, like the acceptance one by Bendy, um, uh, Lolly's piece. I mean, like those could be done and those could be finishes and, and look great. And I could, you know, throw them in the pile or the ever, oh, son of a biscuit. Ah, whew. Sorry was doing stuff and I shouldn't have been should have been focusing on what I was saying anyways finish them and move on because I love them and they need to be hung up whenever I hang stuff up um yeah hi okay moving on um another whip that I have this you haven't seen in a really long time because this also was a March Madness but it's always in my vehicle this is my on the go piece this is where I stitch just a little bit where I'm waiting for the kids or waiting at a doctor's appointment like in the car you know because we don't wait inside any anywhere anymore which is good because um, I hate waiting inside places this is wash your damn hands hopefully I'll be able to put a picture up there um, and the information of who it is by will be down below but this is how much I have done so I just have the beginning 
of the end of the H for wash your damn hands. And there's going to be, you saw, a pretty floral hoop around it. It'll go in my bathroom. It'll be good stuff. I'm not worried. Hey, why aren't you, why aren't you magnetizing? There we go. Uh, my mom had a dentist appointment yesterday, and I drove her, or I drove with her. Oh, well, I drove with her, and I got to work on it a little bit. And at the end of the time, I was like, "Oh, I gotta remember to bring this back in," because, <laughs> you know, because. What, oh my God! I just realized what this is. So this is the last, I believe, of my really big pieces. <laughs> this is my one and only Hade. I'm gonna toss it up here. This is. Autumn Magic. Um, the artist is Spangler. Does that sound right? I love how I ask you guys, like you're gonna know my pieces, but um, you might know. Who knows? Oh my God, it's so big. All right, and this is all I have. So this was the one I started over several times. Like, several times. And finally, I like whatever in the hell I was doing here. Don't judge my uh, wha whoop, boop, my wackadoodle cross country um, parking methods that I have going on, but this is the beginning of whatever in the hell it is up here. It's leaves. I'm a top left start uh, stitcher, so this is top left corner. Leaves going into that pretty blue sky, and this is how I mostly feel about this piece until I start working on it. Like just looking at it, it's so daunting. Um, I have it in Pattern Keeper, so that's good, and that has really helped me. Because like I said, this is the third time this has been restarted. Um, but necessary. <laughs> it's got just random little flosses all over. But, you know, it'll be finished someday when I'm 97. Oh, fuck. Jesus, <laughs> y'all, why do we do this to ourselves? <laughs> you should see this huge bag I have it in too. I'm like, Ron, just get it in there. And I just shove it in there like it's nothing. I fold it over and toss it. Um, <laughs> she's a good piece and she's really pretty and she will be gorgeous. It's like a Santa sack. My sister made me this beautiful bag. Look how pretty that is. It's like a Santa sack of goodies. Um, so, moving on, I totally lied to you a moment ago when I said that was the last of my big pieces. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, because it's definitely not. Almost all my pieces are big, but this is definitely, let me grab my handy dandy, ah, my handy dandy board. This is definitely another one. This is, I'll toss it up here, um... Quaker Seasons of Friendship, another sow that I'm doing with with Diana. It is Kismet and Amy Baruch and several others. I know Kenny started this one. He always yells at me that I enabled him. Um, and here's my progress. So pretty. I've actually worked on this one more recently than some of the others. I think just this like late fall, I start. I did a lot of this shenanigans here. Mm. Love it. This is silks. It's my first time using um, silks for you. My first time really using silks in general. And I love them, they're so lush. Um, like fiddly though, don't like that about it. That you have to be very gentle. And you're, you're my cat's looking at me. What, buddy? Um, you have to be very gentle with it. And that's, I'm not a gentle person, she says as she throws stuff over her shoulder. Um, so next one, I'm going to grab, this is the one I just most recently worked on. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I've been working there. This is, I believe it's called Winter Time. Put it up there. Um, it's by Corsetta Gogo and she's an, also an Italian designer, um, like, um, Chiore Batacore. Uh, her name is Rika. Very nice. Very fun to work with. This is uh, what I call sweater bears because sweater bears, look at them. Oh my God. Um, I got these done in this cool urn. Now there's like a whole like house motif with like a winter tree and 
it's beautiful absolutely gorgeous but that's why it's still on the this thing the q snap just because i was still working on it last night and i left it on there and i am a lazy gus um that one's probably going to go away here soon and i'm going to pull out some of the other ones that i'm like oh i really want to get working on that again um i started that also in march madness yes definitely Yeah, March Madness 2020, because that was the first first year I did that. This one is a smaller piece, Woo. Um, but she's a uh, full coverage. She is Sailor Jupiter. Toss her here. Super cute. Um, I don't remember the name of the designer, but again, everything will be listed down below in the, the um, information box. So this one, just folder. I love my needle minder. This is an Abby Top Knot needle minder. When I saw it, I was like, Abby, I need that. So she got my, my, my Sailor Moon. And then this is just the body of Sailor Jupiter. Um, it, it's a lot of confetti and it's a lot of backstitching. So this is going to look a hell of a lot better when it is finished. But this fabric is really hard to work on. It, um, I don't know if I maybe have worked on the wrong side. There's, I don't know. What I've noticed is that there's almost a right side and a wrong side for this type of heavy opal glittery fabric there's like because it almost assaults your eye when you're looking at it you can't this is the way I felt and I don't know if any of you have, have felt this way either maybe um when you're stitching even though the holes are nice size this is 14 count I think I almost can't see the holes just because of how sparkly everything is around me like my eye is drawn to other places so I have struggle with with that part of it. But it's still gonna be gorgeous when it's done because I wanna, I think I might wanna do her in a hoop finish. I love that her, it's just Serena's head. <laughs> right there, Usagi's head. <laughs> like she's on top, anyways. Um, hoop finish, so and this looks galaxy-esque. Look at that. And again, so this is where I relate very much to um, my gal Jody Favish. Uh, she, <laughs> she doesn't always, uh, measure properly or measure at all I should say her fabric so this large I mean what is that that's not like this was definitely like a fat quarter so this is like a fat eighth that I have that I just tossed this little there's no more than this just tossed it right there why didn't I go up here why didn't I go down there and I would have all of this left but instead I'm gonna have two awkward sized pieces that I'm barely gonna be able to do anything with you heard it here folks Measure your fucking fabric. Think about what you're doing. That's another pro tip for you because seriously, I have wasted so much fabric that way. And in the long run, I mean, <laughs> we do what we love, right? It's it's gonna be okay. I'm not super worried about it, but it's like, ugh. if only I knew now, I knew then what I know now. I have this in this cool makeup bag. Um, it's from Storybook, Storybook Cosmetics. This is my organizing system, sorry, my masking tape. But uh, <laughs> that's the Iron Throne of makeup brushes. And it says, I will take what is mine with fire and blush. Ha! Their stuff is great, takes forever to get to you, like super forever, but it's good. Um, what else? What's in this bag? So I remember, I know this bag. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> Again, I was a total liar. I was a liar McLiar face a few minutes ago when I said, oh, that's my last big one. This <laughs> is a big one. And I'm going to show you right now. This is Clouds Factory. Just by saying the words Clouds Factory, you guys already know how big this fucking thing is. I'm still just unraveling it. It is Harry Potter. Epic Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm done with big ones. It's okay for the day. There's no more big ones left. My nose grew five inches. Oh my God, what have I done? Oi. All right. <laughs> Hold, please. So, Epic Harry Potter by Clouds Factory. Who's ready? I'm not. <laughs> That's how much I have done. Oh my God, that's pitiful. Uh, 
Um, you know. Just that much fabric. I don't think I'm gonna need quite all of it, but I'm gonna need most of it. And look how much not of a, I didn't give myself much, uh, much allowance there. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, also a really old whip. <laughs> really old than the past three years but still it's a uh, this is one of my first ones I started I know that I like that I gave Harry crazy hair because they always talk about how wackadoo Harry's hair is and so many of the patterns that I see give him just like a quaffed look which I get now because it's really hard to do messy hair on a teeny tiny cross stitch oh my god guys how am I gonna wrangle this um a I don't have any needle minders on here which is really odd um, and B I have decided right here and now that I need more scroll frames <laughs> holy shit stain y'all goodness <laughs> I need more scroll frames and I just want to put all because I think if I don't have I think a big part of this of why I don't work on these big ones is that it's such a bitch to load like, it's a bitch to wrangle these and to get them all ready into, into the Q-snap and all that. And so, and I feel like, and tell me if I, this is just a complete fallacy or if I'm deluding myself. I feel like if I had it just on a scroll frame, like ready to go, I could just pick it up. Be like, oh, I'm going to work on Harry Potter, epic Harry Potter today. And I would just put in some stitches into it. But like, I look at this, you saw how long that just took me just to get out of the book back and then get back in the back and in the long run it wasn't that long but I mean like it's a lot <laughs> I feel like if I had it in already ready to go <laughs> as we say ready to go on a scroll frame system I could just pop it on my stand and just get going that's right right that makes sense I need more scroll frames shit God, if you could see this mound of whips that I have to my right. It's bad. So this one is Toasty Tardis by... <laughs> I'm going to pop up. Do I have a picture of it? I don't think I have a picture of it. Anyway, I'll put it here. Toasty Tardis. I have actually not put any stitches of my own into this one. But it's mine because I got it from Michelle Bindi. She was um, uh, UFOing some stuff. And I was like, oh my god, I want that. So she gave it to me. And look how beautiful it is. Look at that stitching. Look. Look at I need to just do it. Right? I just fucking get it done. I mean, like I'm going to get it done in a day, but I haven't put any stitches in this because it's really, uh, I think the word is daunting because <laughs> look how beautiful her stitches are. Oh my God. Gorgeous. So I'm like, ah, <laughs> I feel like I'm just going to mess that up. <laughs> mess it up. I mean, but yeah, I need to, I need to work on this one. I'm going to roll this this way. Boop, boop, boop. So, but also a whip that I need to work on that I have literally never worked on. How many of you can say that? That you have a whip that is, it's almost halfway done, I think. Maybe a little over a third done. How many can say that you have a, a whip in your possession that is yours? It's in your list as a, as a whip that you've never put stitches on. I can say that. And I need to put stitches in it. Oi. All right. Moving on. This one is a newer start from this past December. Um, this is uh, the Frosted Pumpkin Christmas on Gingerbread Lane. Look how cute. And here is where I am so far. Cute, 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 cute. I got, obviously I wanted to get the, um, 
all the gingerbread parts done, the browns. This brown's boring, as I figured out. Thank you to my friend Genevieve. She uh, <laughs> helped me. I'm like, why am I doing all this brown? She's like, brown's dull. I'm like, oh shit, you're right. Um, so yeah, and I just want. I'm excited to get to all the pretty colors. Mm. This is a piece of bestitch me fabric in Slurpee. Yes, 18 count Slurpee. Super pretty. I think that's looking pretty true. A little bit, yeah. Pretty spot on. We have, uh, Dan and I, we have been uh, head over heels deep binging all of the episodes of The Crown. We are super late to the game, but we love it. Um, I don't know what took us so long to get into that one, but uh, here we are. <laughs> You know, we're, um, we just now got into season four, so I think the wedding is the next episode. And I love it. If anyone wants to talk about it, message me. Because holy shit. Alright, this next one is a uh, by Lindy Stitches. Stars Bright. Yes. I need this. And I love it. Again. Ooh. Look at that. Mm. Look at those little stitches. I obviously changed all the colors in the border, but I have kept, I think, pretty much all the colors for the for the bird. No, that's not true either. I definitely changed something in here just because I didn't have it. Um, some other different variegation. If you ever want to know, let me just ask and I'll tell you. I have it written down. But ugh, look at that. So beautiful. This is also Bestitch Me Fabric, shock. Um, 18 count. This is not Evil Queen. This is something else. And again, I have it written down if you want to know. But normally I remember the name of this one, so it's it's bothering me that I don't remember it. Um, but it is beautiful. This one, this whip lives in this gorgeous bag made again by my girl lolly look at that mm. love it super cute and so um when i was uh in japan i found a bunch of these little i call them charms but they're stuff to like put on your phone i think is like they're oh god sorry is to it goes on your phone or little like charmies to go anywhere i'm like those are perfect zipper pulls so I collected several of them, and that lives on that one. How pretty. Boop. Um, this one is also another, wait, was that a Lindy Stitches, that uh, Stars Bright? That one was also a March Madness start. So hey, I get to work on it in March. Whoop, magnets. Ah. Son of a biscuit. All right. Let's see if I can work this properly here. So this is a new start that I just had right after Christmas. My amazingly sweet, kind-hearted daughter, um, her and her father and her brother went to um, Abby Topknot's store and picked out patterns for me. <laughs> I was like, oh, and it was, they wanted to do either stuff that they that they thought I would like or stuff that they wanted me to stitch for them. And this one just totally fit the bill. She picked this one for me. I haven't started Declan's yet, but so this is tiny modernist stitch goddess. <sighs> when I opened this, I was like, what the hell? What the hell? Why is this so beautiful? And why are you so amazing? Oh my God. Speaking to my kid. Um, and she was like, I thought she looked like you. <laughs> I was like, get the fuck out of here. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, what did I do to deserve such an amazing kid? Like, that's just, she's just awesome. Let me just say that. So, obviously I went with this, that, you know, the, the original version. Because I saw the other version and she's beautiful. She looks Asian. She's got dark hair. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love that one a lot. But my girl said she thought that one looked like me. So that's what I'm going with. Look at that. 
yeah, do this. <gasps> Look at that, y'all. This fabric is beautiful. This is Blood Orange by Bestitch Me. Opal, because hey. Do you see how gorgeous that is? Oof. Oofda, as people here in Iowa say. Oofda. I could just stare at this for hours, just because I love it. Um, absolutely beautiful. My girl knocked it out of the park, because she is amazing. Uh, obviously, I'm getting back to that one soon. But I'm going to let some of my older whips shine and get some progress here in the next month or so. Because beautiful. All right. This is in another lolly bag. This is some Tula fabric. Um, and there's another one of those charm things. If I can get it to lay right. There we go. Oh, son of a biscuit eater. Boom. Look at that. Oh, unicorn. Cute, cute, cute. So, this one is... Ooh, this is Joan Elliott. This is All Hallows Eve. This is on a piece of Kathy Davidson fabric. Um, Dying for Cross Stitch is her, is her thing. And also this is, the purple is her floss as well. Mm, look at that. Bless. Absolutely beautiful. I really love this piece too. I know y'all, you guys do too. So, so pretty. I am doing, I said it's right here. I'm doing some changes. Um, I'm not doing just the alphabet there. I'm gonna put something, oh, oh, I remember. Um, wild, wild Nights Are My Glory. That's what I'm recharting this to. Wild Nights Are My Glory. And then all this in the year, maybe not a year, I don't know, but yeah. Gorgeous. So yeah, that is that. Um, what I want to do after this is I want to completely uh, no, not number, but count up how many whips I have, and then I want to count up how many just Halloween whips <laughs> I have, because I'm betting it's plenty, <laughs> more than necessary. I mean necessary. Uh, next one is another big one, but it's, you know, the big one. This is my um, Tapestry and Waves. Northerner Expression Needleworkers. Needleworks something. Um, look at her. Look how beautiful. Isn't she lovely? And isn't this lovely? So A, scroll rod. Um, my, again, my girl Jen. Jasmine Ravenclaw on um, Instagram, she made, custom made, these awesome grime guards for me. Uh, look how big they are. But then she surprised me with the fabric because I, I never like to choose. I don't like making decisions. <laughs> so I was like, so just choose whatever fabric you have and make those to the these specifications. And she was like, definitely, yes. I know exactly what to, to make for you. So I got Stranger Things fabric. Look at that Demogorgon. Boop. Look at Dustin. I love him. But yeah, this is, you know, a, a lifetime's work of what's going to be work, you know. She'll be finished when I'm probably 74, right around there. Actually, no, because Catherine and I, because I enabled Catherine and um, Frog Stitcher. Uh, I mean, several people do this, but um, Catherine... Apparently, I just straight enabled, <laughs> and she bought it, and she's working on it, and so we have it. We have decided to do Tapestry Tuesdays, which sometimes turn into Tapestry Thursdays if Tuesdays are a little wacky. But either way, one day a week at least, we put, I think, like 500 stitches into this beast, and I'm the type of stitcher that I normally like to do more than one day, so normally, you know, when I do remember to do it, I get a fair amount of progress and I just saw a huge hair on this beast and now it's gone. But anyways, I love it. Absolutely beautiful. It's my tapestry and waves. 
I can't toss that one because high scroll rod. <laughs> Shit. Stay. Okay, we're coming down to the end, guys. I got two left. Um, and actually, this one can't even really be... It, it is considered a whip, so I'm definitely showing it here. Um, I started right... This was my Christmas Eve start. Remember how if I finished... I don't know if you remember, but I was talking on Instagram a lot about it. Um, I finally finished my Santa's House by Tiny Modernist. Um, I'll pop a picture here because I don't have it um, readily available. I said, if I can finish all this fucking snow, aka finish the piece, um, before Christmas Eve, then I am allowing myself to start Marshmallow World. <laughs> um, pop a picture here. Look how pretty that is. It's so, so pretty. And I love the colors. Like, so I wanted to keep those colors. Like, I don't want to change the actual colors of the of the piece. So I did finish Santa, Santa's house. And so I got to start this. And here's where I am. And I hate this fabric. That's not true. I love this fabric. I do not like this fabric for this piece. They don't pop the way they should. They get muddled. Like, and that's just, it doesn't look the way it should. Um, so... I am going to eventually frog this, not right now, because no, but and I am going to have a restart on that one, but it's still in the whip list because it is still actually a whip, um, but man, I got it like a fair amount done too before I finally just admitted what was wrong. I was like, no, because I kept open, maybe it'll get better. It did not. <sighs> oh, well, hey, we live and we learn, right? So, that is Marshmallow World, but you will see it on different fabric the next time you see it. Because I have I have a lot of pieces ordered, a lot of fabric coming for possible work to be that. So, we'll see. All right, y'all, last one. It's just random that this is the last one, but this is it. Um, this is my other long dog sampler. This is Spangled. Mm. Yay! Love it, love it, love it. Um, legitimately, what are my favorite pieces? Let me uh, get this slightly organized. And I have done a full color conversion. I've made it blue. Make it blue! So, yeah, boom. That's all as far as I am. But hey, look, I'm, I'm getting to the inside border. That's the, the inside. Um, I think like technically I am at a page finish because this like goes some into here and there. So technically I'm not at a page finish, but mostly I am at a page finish. Was this a March Madness piece? Who remembers? I feel like it wasn't, but, um, I love it. Obviously it's not going anywhere. Um, I did do a culling. Uh, a few weeks ago, I called out two pieces um, and just said, no, I'm not. These are not bringing me joy. I'm not going to stitch these anymore. So oh, real quick, though, this is uh, my last lolly bag. Look at that. And you can see past the. Oh, yeah. And this is the last time. Uh... Oh, look at that. So cute. So the... There. A cup of a cup of cheer. Anyways, super cute. Um, I did some culling. I know I culled two pieces that out of the whip list that were just not working for me. So that's good with that. And that's it. That is my whip parade. Just over an hour. Oh man, I wish I could have kept it just under. But either way, it's, I'm just at an hour pretty much. And that's it. Make sure I'm not letting none are hiding back here. Whoop. Sorry I kicked you. Um, yeah, that's it, y'all. <sighs> Hold, please. Okay, I just wanted to count those up real quick, so I had to, like, <laughs> you know, go back over to the mound and count them up. So, what I just counted, minus those two fully kitted <laughs> pieces, because they're not whips. I have not put one stitch into them yet, so I'm not counting them. So, my whips right now is 27. 
that is not nearly as bad as I thought it was. And it almost makes me feel like I'm missing something. But I'm looking around and I can't, I mean, this is, this is it. This, I see all my stuff. I think that's it. I have 27 whips. I thought that was going to be a lot worse. <laughs> um, but mind you, my counting is not the greatest. So if you guys counted something else, you let me know. Um, remember, don't count the two fully kitted ones. <laughs> we were counting the the Marshmallow World. We did count that um, because it's a whip. And also I counted um, Toasty Tardis because it's still a whip. So yeah, 27, which is a great number. It's one of my favorite numbers. Um, 27 whips, two fully kitted starts ready to go, Not, but they're not started. I had 21 finishes in 2020. I had 44 new starts in 2020. I'm reading over here. Um, and I think that's pretty damn good. What do you think? I don't care what you think. No, I'm joking. You guys know I care what you think. But don't come at me with the, ooh, that's a lot. Because I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I bet you have a lot of socks. I don't care what how many socks you have. Yeah, that's where I'm at, and that's pretty damn awesome. Like I said, I know I have several planned starts coming up. Um, I'm going to start a, uh, a stitch for, she, they're a new designer that are just starting in the past few months. It's a, uh, a Mandalorian, this is the way chart, and then I'm going to start this month, definitely. And then some other ones that already have planned sales. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty damn good. Um... And then this, what I want to talk about with this. So this is the Garon Toten bag that we got from the Nice List. Um, and I am going to be auctioning this off. Um, not because I don't like it, I do like it. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I was like, shit, there's one I did. This is Rowan's, so it doesn't count in my whip list. We don't count that. That's her winter time, her new cat one. Whew. That one got me stressed. I was like, shit, I am missing one. <laughs> but no, um, this is going to be auctioned off on my Instagram here soon. I've never done an auction. I want to do an auction. I don't know why I want to do an auction, but um, I know it is, people love it. So I was like, well, why not um, donate most of the proceeds? So there's that. Uh, yeah. The only, the only, like, when I say most of the proceeds, I mean the only part I'm not going to donate is what's going to be si uh, used for shipping. So, but other than that, all the donations will go towards Michael J. Fox's foundation for Parkinson's because it's near and dear my heart. It's near and dear a lot of people's hearts. And I love Michael J. Fox and I love a lot of people that have been touched by a horrible disease that ravishes your body. So... Um, yeah, that's all I got for you. I'm very surprised that that just went down the way it did. Did I count tapestry and waves in that 27? We shall see, because I'm going to need to recount again anyways, because that's just who I am as a person. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. Thank you all for sitting with me. I hope you enjoyed some of this. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Um, like I said, my next regular floss tube will happen probably in the next week, right around there. Um, and yay, I just reached 2,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for that, by the way. I will talk about it more on the next floss tube, but I'm going to be doing a big giveaway because I've been kind of like saving up some stuff and gathering some things for this giveaway. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you have a damn good day. And I hope you get some stitching in. So uh, rock out with your cocks out and be good. Bye, guys.